Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to zero of the function x to the power x? So let's try to plug in zero. So what we will have? We will have zero to the power zero. So zero to the power zero is undefined, so we don't know what the value that represents. So we need to simplify this x to the power x. What I recommend is to write this x as e to the power natural log x. So let's do this. What we will have? You will have that this limit will be equal to limit x approaches to zero of the function e to the power nature log x. This is our x. This is the same as our x and all rays to the power x. Oh, we all know that this x we need to multiply with this nature log x. So as a result, we will have that this limit will be equal to limit as x approaches to zero of e to the power x natural log x. We will know that this e is a constant, so we can find the limit of our exponent. So let's do this. This is the rule. So we will write this one as e to the power limit x approaches to zero of the function x natural log x. So let's find this limit at right here. So let's find this limit right here and then we plug in to the power e and we will have our answer. So this limit can be written as limit as nature log x over 1 over x. So let's bring this x to our denominator. What we will have that this limit will be equal to limit x approaches to 0 of the function nature log x all over 1 over x. So this will be the same as, as this one. And we can do this, we can write this, of course, in our denominator, but I write this in our denominator. So why, do, why I write this? Because we can use a L'Hopital's rule, so we can write this as limit as x approaches to zero of the derivative of our nominator, natural log x, all over derivative of our denominator, 1 over x. And this will be equal to, let's find our derivative. We all know that the derivative of nature log x will be 1 over x. So this will be equal to limit x approaches to 0, 1 over x in our nominator. And in our denominator, we will have a classic rule, a classic case, minus 1 over x square. So let's cancel this square and this x. And as a result, we will have that this limit will be equal to limit as x approaches to 0 of the minus x. And if we plug in 0, we will have that our answer will be 0. So this is our exponent. And we need to plug in 0 because we calculate this limit right here. And the, our answer will be e to the power 0 because this limit equal to 0. And the, our answer will be, will be 1. So this limit is equal to 1. If you have any question, maybe you have faster method, maybe you have any uh, recommendation how to solve it, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.